Hey, it's story time again. And today's story, you will never, ever guess. It's entitled, A New Puppy. A New Puppy. That's today's story. Yes, a new puppy. Do you have a new puppy? Hmm. And what is your puppy's name? What kind of puppy is he? How big will your puppy grow? Johnny has a brand new puppy. I will call you Spot, says Johnny, for he knows that all puppies have names. What did you name your dog? Johnny and Spot are going to be friends and have a lot of fun together. Yes, a lot of fun together. Spot is small. He's not very happy. He just left seven brothers and sisters and his mother safe, warm, side. How did your dog feel when it left all of his friends and family? So Johnny strokes him gently and talks to him quietly. He doesn't hug him too tight or squeeze him or shout or run about. That would frighten him. He wants him to be friends and not afraid. Spot is a puppy. He isn't big and strong yet. This is why Johnny picks him up with so much gentle to make sure he does not hurt him. One hand under Spot's back legs, the other hand under his chest. Poor Spot, it's his first night in his new home and he is frightened, scared to death. Yes, frightened, scared to death. He cries a little. Spot wishes that he were back with his seven brothers and sisters and in the care of his mom. Johnny puts a warm bottle under Spot's blanket. He places a ticking clock nearby. Now Spot feels warm. He hears the friendly ticking of the clock. He feels better. He doesn't cry or whine anymore. He falls asleep instead, finally falling in to a night's rest. Johnny's mother shows Johnny how to make Spot's meal. Spot has a special dish all his own as a special place to eat. Spot likes to be left alone while he's eating. Yeah, sometimes dogs are a little hasty when you're bothering them when they're eating. So he has a special place to eat. And he gets to eat without anyone bothering him. Do you bother your dog when he's eating? I hope not. When Spot was finished eating, Johnny takes him up, takes up the dish and cleans it. He leaves a dish of clean water in Spot's special eating place. Spot soon gets to know that it will always be there, full of fresh water clean, ready for him to drink. Dogs need water to drink. Fresh, clean water he's providing. Are you providing fresh, clean water for your dog? Spot is a baby and has lots to learn. Most important lesson of all is to be clean. Johnny will teach him. He will be housebroken dog. No, says Johnny, and he takes Spot outside. Johnny must put Spot outside or in his litter box right after every meal so that he can learn to be clean, learn what it is that it is to be a housebroken dog. No, Johnny says when Spot jumps up on the chair. The place for a good puppy is on the floor. No is the word that Spot quickly learns. No, no, no is what Johnny is saying when Spot is doing something wrong. He knows by the way that Johnny says it that is not pleased. Learning no is a puppy first lesson. He hears it a lot at the beginning because he has so much to learn. No, says Johnny when Spot jumps to meet him. Johnny is glad that Spot is pleased to see him. But one day Spot may have muddy paws and jump on someone's clean dress or clean shirt. So Spot must learn no to all jumping up on individuals. To stop him, Johnny quickly drops down to where Spot is and says, Hello. When Spot is older, he will still jump 
up and Johnny will quickly put his hand, his knee to Spot's chest. No, no, no. It won't hurt, but Spot won't let, won't like it and will soon stop jumping up. No, 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 Johnny says when Spot chews Daddy's good slipper. It's your dog chewing your slippers or your sister's slippers or your brother's slippers, your mom's slippers. No, no, no. Johnny whacked him not very hard with a rolled up newspaper, never with his hand. A hand is to pet him, not to hit him. Spot chews because he wants to have good strong teeth. So Johnny gives him a toy of his own, and Daddy tries to remember to put his slippers where Spot won't find them. A toy of his own, of his a toy of his very own that he can chew on. No, 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 says Johnny when Spot keeps on barking. Spot barks because he is a puppy and likes to make a noise. Spot barks because he thinks he's looking after Johnny by scanning scaring people away but the neighbors don't like noisy puppies so Johnny says no 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 when he has let Spot bark a few times no to barking to his neighbors soon Spot is old enough to learn some more lessons Johnny puts a leash around Spot's neck he lets Spot drag the leash around for a whole day so the puppy can get used to it then the lessons began. See, dogs are wild. Dogs are not used to leases. So he's teaching him about the lease. Come, says Johnny. Come is a new word for Spot. He decides to sit down and think about it. Come, says Johnny. He doesn't try to drag the puppy. Instead, he pulls quickly on the lease when he says, come. When at last Spot comes, Johnny strokes his head and says, Good dog. Very good. Letting the dog know he's pleased with him responding to coming when he pulls the lease. Spot has learned no and come. Now he's ready to learn another new word. Sit, says Johnny, and he presses down gently on his Spot's back. When he takes his hand away, Spot pops up like a jack in a box. Johnny puts his hand on his back again, saying, sit. At last, Spot understands to sit when he's told to sit. Good dog, good dog, says Johnny, showing he's well pleased with Spot understanding his new command to sit. Lessons are hard, hard work for puppies and boys and girls, so Johnny keeps the lessons very short. After the lesson, Spot and Johnny romp and play t- games together. Johnny knows some good games like tug of war and throwing sticks for Spot to go fetch and bring back to him. Johnny is a good teacher. He uses short and easy words and always the same words over and over to make sure Spot understands the commands. Instead of stop it, or stop it, Spot. You naughty bad dog. Johnny always responds with no when Spot is being naughty. Instead of here, Spot, come. Here, come quickly, Spot. Johnny always says come when he wants Spot to come. And when Spot does what Johnny tells him, Johnny always remembers to say good dog and to let his dog know that he is pleased with him. Good dog to show he's pleased with him. Spot wants to please Johnny, but too many lessons are hard to remember. So Johnny teaches Spot the same lesson over and over and over to make sure it's easy for him to learn and to make sure he learns that lesson before moving on to other lessons. Now that you're such a smart puppy, I shall take you for a walk in the park, said Johnny. But when they get outside, Spot thinks he's going to take Johnny for a walk. Heel, 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 says Johnny. He pulls Spot close and keeps the leash close to him and short. 
When Spot pulls away, Johnny jerks back and says, heal. It takes a long time for Spot to learn a new word. To make him feel better, Johnny stops sometimes and says, sit. Spot knows this word, sit, and he sits nicely. Good dog, says Johnny. Then they start walking again, and he again says, heel, heel, making the leash short. Soon, Spot learns a new word with a new lesson. When lessons are over, Johnny talks to Spot all the time. Johnny tells his dog everything. Of course, Spot can understand words, but he likes the sound of Johnny's voice, and he can tell how Johnny is feeling If Johnny is sad, Spot is sad too. And if Johnny is glad, Spot is glad too. Because Johnny and Spot are friends. Are you friends with your dog? Are you making sure that your new puppy is learning the commands easily and simply? Are you spending time so that your new dog, your new puppy knows what it is to be his friend, and for you to be his friend. Johnny has taught Spot new lessons, slowly, carefully. Are you teaching your new dog new lessons, slowly and carefully?